Thank you so much for Kirtanians. Let's all chant once Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jai Radha Madhava, Kunja Take the blessings of Jagannath Baldev Subhadramaya of our very big <coughs> temple, Sheshadri Puri Temple. 
beginning of prayer as usual. Actually, it's a shorter one, actually. <coughs> O Madhyana Timirandhasya, Jnana Anjana Shalakaya, Chakshuru Militam Mena, Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama, Nama Om Vishnu Pada, Krishna Prashthaya Bhutale, Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Nitinamine, Namaste Saraswate Deve, Gauravani Pracharine, Nirvishesha Shubhyavadi Parshatya Deshatarini Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Dityananda Shri Advaita Ghadhara Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya This session is dedicated to the Divine Grace, Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada and our spiritual master of many devotees, His Holiness Devataka Swami Maharaj. <coughs> hmm? You are not able to hear? Okay. Yes. Okay. I seek seek blessings from all the devotees assembled. So that right words come from my mouth to glorify the Lord. This service. Okay. Almost all of your regular. So we'll go ahead with the chapter today. It's very important to understand the previous subject a little so that we can correlate and uh, make some sense so that it registers in our mind. The only when it registers, then it will come in our practice. So it's very important in that sense. So, what is the meaning of this chapter in Samskrita? The divisions of faith. <clears throat> Shraddha, Traya, Vibhaga, Yoga. Okay. So, we'll delineate that and we'll get into the topic today. Shraddha, Traya, Vibhaga, Yoga. The concept of delineating this because this has a reference from the, the previous chapter. That is, what chapter it is? Daiva Asura. Daiva Asura Sampat. It is. I always had a doubt how Asura will become Sampat. <laughs> okay. Will that we'll discuss if question and answer comes? Okay, Shraddha. Traya Vibhaga Yoga. Let's understand what is Shraddha because that is what the last verse of the previous chapter. Shraddha. Last verse of the previous chapter. <clears throat> Let's understand what is Shraddha is. What is your thought about Shraddha? Already it is mentioned the English meaning of Shraddha is faith. Obviously, we cannot translate Sanskrit exactly into English. So let's try to understand what is Shraddha. It is not Shraddha. <laughs> it's Shraddha. Shraddha means faith. Okay. Generally, what we understand, we have faith. We have faith in everything. But when it comes to the subject matter of Bhagavad Gita, it is something deeper. Shastra says, Shastra Artha Vishwasa. Please hear attentively. 
ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅರ್ಥ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಓಕೆ ನಾವ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಸೊ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಇಟ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅರ್ಥ ನಾವು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಅರ್ಥ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮನಿ ಬಟ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಡಿಕ್ಲೇರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ವೇದ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವೇದ ಇಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರಿಗುಣ ತ್ರೈಗುಣ್ಯ ವಿಷಯ ವೇದ ನಿಸ್ತ್ರೈಗುಣ್ಯೋ ಭವಾಜ್ ನಾವ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ರೀಡ್ ಆಲ್ ವೇದಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೀಡ್ ಆಲ್ ವೇದಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ಕಂಡೆನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಈಸ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ನಾವು ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ದ ರೂಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಶಸ್ ಧಾತು ಸೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಶಿಷ್ಯ 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 ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಫಾಲೋ ದ ಆರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಓಕೆ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ದ ಆರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಟು ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ವೆಪನ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಟು ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಪಾಯಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅನ್ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಅನ್ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಡ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಮರ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಈಸ್ ಸಚ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ಲೆಸ್ ಮರ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ರಿಸೀವಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೇತ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೇತ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೇತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಸೊ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಈಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಪ್ರೂಫ್ ಪ್ರೂಫ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ರೂಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಲೋ ಅಲೋ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನೋ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ಸ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ either we have the material opulence or not by by finally what needs lord what he needs is our feeling bhava that's why bhava grahi janardana he is called as bhava so we have possession or not but once we cultivate that bhava then only lord will see lord will like so pramana there are three types of pramana pratyaksha anumana and shabda shastra is shabda pramana i will not go much deep here because we will discuss this when individual uh, topics are discussed or shlokas are discussed but roughly direct perception is pratyaksha we we judge this but it is not final for example our eyes are not perfect our senses are not perfect so if we see something we might not take it rightly shastra next is sorry anumana inference that is the concept of science we might be knowing in the vessel keeping a stick with water and it's bent with the trial and error method understanding what is there and finally shabda this is what very shastra which comes through the disciplic succession now this pramana is very important there is immense of uh, shastra i mean literatures what to say what to say this is what very important because we think that i can read myself and i
once chanting chaitanya mahaprabhu said once chanting hare krishna mahamantra we can take it in a lighter sense it's actually in the higher sense once chanting hare krishna mahamantra then chaitanya mahaprabhu will accept in higher sense it should be purely chanting it should be purely chanting but how so we all belong to chaitanya mahaprabhu family shri prabhupad family so what main books we have to refer is very important to understand a bc of that that is bbc <laughs> bhagavad gita bhagavatam and chaitanya charita okay so first we are dealing with or reading with bhagavad gita it's a preliminary subject that itself it's not going to my mind it's i am not able to digest it <laughs> so bhagavad gita then once we are little well versed in bhagavad gita we move on to bhagavatam or if we are able to hear from someone that is fine but in terms of reading regular sadhana i i think all of us by hearing this will start little reading daily basis bhagavad gita that's what very important hearing everything is needed at the same time we read is also very important we read is also very important so this is what the subject matter of shraddha in shastra shastra artha vishwas now faith in the previous chapter is explained to two types of faith explained one faith where everyone are having complete faith in shastra that type of personalities are called divine devas or devatas vishnu bhakta bhavet daivo means devata is supposed to be the devotees of lord because they are all order carriers of lord lord is the controller of all of us including devatas so that is one side another side is one who doesn't follow scriptures they will just abandon scriptures who are they demons asuras that is why daiva and asura sampati sampati is because we should know what is negative qualities we should not practice negative we should know what is negative quality if we know the negative qualities then we can appreciate the positive and inculcate the positive practices and next traya is there shraddha traya what is that traya three what are these three this refers to 14th chapter of bhagavad 14th chapter guna traya vibhaga yoga so this talks about guna here itself you might have understood whoever have faith accumulated faith in certain gunas accordingly his action will be accordingly his action will be he already understood we will further go ahead this is what shraddha traya vibhaga yoga okay clear no next we will move on to the subject matter so you already understood that <clears throat> two types of people daiva and asura now arjuna is asking this question अर्जुन उवाच शास्त्र विधि मुस्तृज्य यजन्ते श्रद्धया निष्ठा तो का कृष्ण सत्वोरजस्तम Arjuna inquired, "O oh Krishna, what is the situation of those who do not follow the principles of Scripture, but worship according to their own imagination? Are they in goodness, in passion, or in ignorance? Okay, not in between it is. Not Daiva, not Asura. In between. So Daiva has complete Shastra, Vishwasa, complete." here this kind of shraddha is called as loka parampara jata shraddha means my family is doing something i will also follow someone is following i will also follow according to my own tendencies i will do something like that mostly all of us and is in the society many are like in the some shraddha shraddha that shraddha we are going to discuss which is influenced by three modes sattva rajas and tamas sattva rajas and tamas now 
before getting into this subject matter, let's understand what is very core understanding of Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. Okay, what is Sattva Guna? Sattva Guna. Goodness. What do you understand by that goodness? Yes. Faithful. Yes, faithful. So more, many good qualities comes under Sattva Guna. But still there we understood that that is also binding. Okay, that is also binding. However, it's very essential to reach up to the Sattva Guna, to cross it. It's very important. It's not that Sattva Guna is not necessary. Sattva Guna is very essential. That's why Srila Prabhupada said everyone should become Brahmana. Specifically for all of us who is following Srila Prabhupada, he addressed us that we should read, study and become Brahman. Brahman here means cultivate Sattvika Guna. So, mainly here we have to keep in mind to understand this chapter. Sattva Guna means Sattva Guna means <clears throat> uh, detachment. Okay? Sattva Guna means detachment. Brahmanas has that quality. Detach, supposed to be having that quality. Okay? To understand this subject, keep in mind Sattva Guna means detachment. Rajoguna means attachment. Opposite. And last Tamoguna is destruction. Dad. Detachment, attachment, destruction. But we have to actually attach to Supreme Dad. <laughs> Who is our Supreme Dad? Lord Krishna himself. So keep that in mind. This chapter is meant to transcend this and to reach how our Supreme God, He is our eternal Father. I think today is Father's Day. <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> so to love Supreme Lord, Lord Krishna. <clears throat> that is what the subject matter today we will be discussing. According to acquired nature, what we have, accordingly our faith will be in the three modes. <clears throat> Verse number two of the 17th chapter, Shri Bhagavan Uvacha Trividha Bhavati Shraddha Dehinam Sa Sobhavaja Satviki Rajasi Chaiva Tamasi Cheti Tam Shrunu Kindly read this translation for me. Someone. According to the modes of nature acquired by the embodied soul, one's faith can be of three kinds in goodness, in passion, or in ignorance. Now hear about this. Now hear about this. <clears throat> in this, very important is Sobhava. Sobhava. Sobhava means what? Nature, this nature is the not the nature of soul. Here nature refer to the nature which acquired for our subtle senses. They are sukshma sharira, sukshma sharira, whatever acquired. Previous life samskaras, this life activities, whatever karma we accumulated. Accordingly, what sobhava we have. Otherwise, soul is eternal. It doesn't have such sobhava. It is not afflicted by three modes. It is not at all afflicted. Because it has the nature of, it is a fragmental portion of Lord himself. How can it get afflicted by tribunals? So it is beyond this tribunals. But since all of us are coming in this material world, because we forgot Lord. We forgot Lord. Because of that, we have come here and we are getting connection with these three modes. And each and every step, three modes are deciding our, our life. Each and every step. Is it not very important to understand this chapter? It's very important. Each and every step, the moment we speak, some modes are influencing us. How to come out of it? That's why this chapter is very important to study so that we come to the level of goodness. Then Krishna consciousness becomes easy because jnana is necessary. When jnana is necessary, why? Because faith, where faith resides, where is faith residing? In the heart, in the heart, or in another sense, consciousness. And consciousness is nurtured by what? 
knowledge very nice knowledge and knowledge from where we get shastra that's why shastra is very important that's why shastra following is very important so we'll move on to the next verse <clears throat> yajante satvika devan yaksha rakshamsi rajasaha प्रेतान भूत चान्ये यजन्ते तामसा जनाह Okay. <laughs> so mode of goodness, <coughs> worship Deva or Demigod. Okay. Very important. Deva. Means it is understood that this should not be done. It is understood from this that this should not be done. Because ultimately, who is the Bhagavan is the personality who control Devas. When we worship Bhagavan, it's 100 percent sure that. All devatas are completely getting satisfied, which is already proved. You all understood from previous chapter. We no need to dwell much in it. <clears throat> Next comes specifically why devata worship is happening because of what desire to fulfill desire. I want that. I want this. You all know which and all god we worship to get some. For example, you all know why to explain. <laughs> still we can explain lord ganesha we worship so that we get good mark good knowledge etc so many such worship is happening so lord said that that kind of worship is not accepted not accepted <clears throat> next is yaksha rakshamsi actually rakshasa Rajasa. Okay. What is this? Rakshasa. Okay. Yeah, Rakshasa it is. In Sanskrit, Raksha, you can say maybe. So, demons. Rajoguna. Rajoguna people worship demons. You can see here, Srila Prabhupada in his purpose says, some people during the world war, third world war, I think, worshipped a Hitler, you can see the picture there. Hitler, in the middle picture, Hitler is there. Hitler, worshipping Hitler. <laughs> like that, we know, we worship many now, like that. Many, many people. Uh, Ravana, also we worship. <laughs> in Lanka, I think Ravana worship yes. might be there. Hiranyakashipu worship also. So many. Jayalal. <laughs> Huh? All film actors are worshipping. We are all worshipping them. So, sad situation. Because Shastra. Shastra acceptance is not there. Pretan Bhuta Ganam Chani. Anya means Tamasaha Janaha. So Tamasaha Janaha, ignorant people who worship Preta and Bhuta. What is Preta and Bhuta? We understand ghosts and spirit. Any thought? Or who, what is ghost? And what is spirit? Wherever Tulsi Maharani is there, ghost and spirits will not come. It will not. Mother Tulsi will definitely protect us. <laughs> so, ghost means what? You know, this body is made up of gross elements, subtle elements and soul. Without gross element is called as Bhuta. Without gross. Without this body, Whatever is there, what is Bhuta? When we leave our body, we become Bhuta. We means common man, not devotees. Not devotees. Devotees doesn't become Bhuta. Devotees get immediate. As soon as possible, they will get next life. If they are not doing proper sadhana, next human birth maybe. If they are doing good sadhana, next higher planetary system. Or very good sadhana, Shuddha sadhana, then Krishna Lord. So like that. <coughs> so... It's very important now. <laughs> we all should become, try our levels best to do sadhana nicely. 
sadhana and sadhya is chanting hare krishna maha mantra <clears throat> we have to seriously chant okay bhuta is that and preta <laughs> because my mother and father left we have to do that all of it they will make a small body in rice called as preta it is preta preta means transition body till getting next birth till getting 13th day 13th day on, on, onwards it will have a smooth travel towards pitraloka or whatever so that is that 13 days preta if that preta doesn't get proper uh, uh, food then it will struggle then it will try to enjoy it will have same hunger same thirst everything like me but it doesn't have body to enjoy that's why very risk that's why wherever negative quality is there there it will enter wherever there it won't enter it can't enter it cannot um, penetrate this aura of tulsi maharani it will not penetrate the chanting it will not penetrate one of maharaja i don't remember who said who or chant seriously hare krishna maha mantra sudarshan chakra will be protecting them. lord sudarshan chakra will because hare krishna maha mantra is none other than lord krishna so it's so important <clears throat> so this is what the subject here <clears throat> Any question here? So we have to part. Huh? Passion is uh, uh, our ambition. Yes, passion is ambition. Rajogun. Rajogun. That's why. Yes, Rajogun. Okay. Yes. Said, uh, as soon as we die. Huh? Soul and subtle soul. Subtle, subtle body, not soul, subtle body. That is, uh, what is that? Chitta. That is mind, intelligence and ego. That also goes, that goes with the soul <clears throat> to get next body. Accordingly, next body will happen. Don't have the body. Don't have body. Physical body, Physical body is not there. Means passion means uh, towards God we can have. We have towards God. In divine it is considered as bhakti. Bhakti. Is that is not worldly passion. Yes. It is called bhakti. Bhakti we can have. Definitely we should have bhakti. Devotional competition also good. No problem. We come to very important subject. <laughs> now, Lord is explaining for Arjuna's question four things. He grossly, everywhere three modes influence is there. For four things, Lord is addressing here. Okay, four things. Because everything cannot be spoken. Right? Four things. One is Ahara. Next, any idea? Huh? Ahara. Yajna. Dana. Tapas. Austerity. Okay. For these four things, Lord is explaining what happens when Tamoguna is predominant, Rajoguna predominant, Sattoguna predominant. Okay. To understand that, Dad, you should remember. Okay. Now, without attachment doing is Sattoguna. With attachment doing is Rajoguna. For destruction doing is now currently happening. Destruction. Specifically, Goma, Goma the killing will happen now. Is it it's full destruction? Prabhupada addressed several times. Several times at least. Several times. So if you don't protect Brahmanas and cow, go Brahmana, Kitayacha, it is said. If you don't protect cow and Brahmanas, then there is no point of getting spiritual knowledge. There is no point. That also we'll understand here. So mode of goodness, characteristics and effect. Okay. Juicy. Juicy means what? Susnigdha. Snigdha it is. And wholesome. Fatty. Pleasing to heart. We'll understand this little by little. Then in increases duration of life. Purify. Strength. Health. Satisfaction. Anyone can recite this verse if you have a book. Sattoguna. 17.8. Sattva, ayu sattva bala rogyam sukha preeti vivardhanaha asya spidha stira hridya ahara satvika priyaha. Okay. 
<coughs> juicy means what? Here it is not prashadam explained here. Okay, this is not prashadam. This is a sattvic ahara explained. It should become prasadam. Ah, top, top. Sattvic ahara. Juicy means what? Which can easily go. We no need to struggle. Easy. Okay. Easily go. Juicy. Wholesome. Milk is wholesome. Okay. Milk is wholesome. Grains are wholesome. Milk here means, we will not go much deeper into it. Milk here means our local breed, local cow with care taken, nicely taking care of that cow. Otherwise, it is not milk mentioned here. It may be milk, not mentioned here in Bhagavad Gita. That milk is not mentioned. Wholesome, fatty. Fatty means what? Snigdha. Fattiness is very important. It should go means fatty quality should be there. Fatty means snigdha. Snigdha means what? Here fatty means slimy. Like kichad, kichad. Like grease. Or in rain, kichad. It will slip, no? Slip. That kind of. It should go easily. That's why we have to chew nicely. I have seen somewhere someone telling that don't grab another morsel before you complete chewing and entering this part. After you swallow fully till reach a stomach, don't take one more morsel. Don't even mix. <laughs> the moment we mix here means channel started to go inside. <laughs> so we are all hankering for how much we can put inside. So Shilap is Which one? Oily, oily food. Oily food. Incense. Oily food is in the mode of fashion. Yes. Mode of fashion. Which one? No, this fat is different. Ghee. 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 Ghee and coconut oil. Not fried item. Kichidi kind of thing. Yes. Yes. Okay, pleasing to heart. Pleasing to heart means what? Not spicy. Satisfied. Uh, spicy. <laughs> not spicy. Satisfied. Yes. We will not hanker more and more. We are satisfied. That is why I said detached. We will not have much hankering for having more and more. Detached. We should think how many of us have this. Satisfied after having little food. No, we want. In mind, we will see everyone's plate. If you go to restaurant, we are not going. Imagine some of us may be still going. <laughs> if we are going restaurant, we will see whose Krishna conscious restaurant maybe we are going. <laughs> <laughs> there are prashadam restaurants. Yeah. Govindas. When then we will see others plate, how much they order differently. How nicely they order. I am not able to order like that. <laughs> because we are not satisfied. Whatever food we eat, if we chew nicely, effect is same. That I understood. We are all in cities having so much of badam, etc. Et so much of badam, dry fruits. Village where is badam, but they are very strong. Because they are doing hard work, they are eating nice. They properly chewing. I have seen who are working there, they will properly chew. chew. Access. <clears throat> so that is what the subject matter. If I am delaying, please tell me. It's interesting. That's why we just thought of taking this. <laughs> increases duration of life. Okay. Sattvika Ahara increases duration of life. Why we miss duration of life is what is the necessity. We don't need to have much duration of life if we don't have Krishna. If we are not following Krishna consciousness, duration of life is waste. Okay. Purify. It purifies. The moment it passes, stool, the defecation becomes easy. Otherwise, half an hour newspaper inside toilet. <laughs> or mobile now. Maybe. Kids are doing like that. Kids are doing like that. Addicted. Constipated. Because of this only. Because of <clears throat> purify. Purifying nature of the food is very, very important. And such food gives strength, whole day activity. That strength we should use for Krishna conscious activity. And it will give satisfaction. This is the quality of 
सात्विक आहार सो शास्त्र से इट शुड बी शुद्ध सत्व आहार शुड बी शुद्ध सो उपनिषद से सत्व शुद्ध हो ध्रुवा स्मृति ही शुद्ध हो सत्व शुद्धि ही सत्व शुद्ध हो ध्रुवा स्मृति ही स्मृतिर्लंबे सर्व ग्रंथी नाम विप्र मोक्ष वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फूड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दट फ्रॉम फूड ओनली सटल माइंड इज है वाट एवर वी डू इन फैक्ट इट इज सेट दैट when we leave our body in certain purana it is said that when we leave our body i'm talking common man whatever last food we have had what consciousness that food had in cooking etc accordingly we will get life we don't know when we will get die i think it is in kurma purana i am not very sure i heard it you can refer it back so how serious it is <clears throat> so it's very important to cook only satvik aahara if possible but whatever shastra refers for example our gaudiya vaishnava philosophy give certain food stuffs to cook because whatever we want we can't cook our mind will be demand so many things <laughs> we can't cook like that and offer and we don't know what krishna wants that much high level we have not reached so we can refer to senior devotees and greater devotees and get what So generally subject matter is or locally satvik aahara can be consumed <clears throat> that is what ah uh, this aahara shuddha ho sattva shuddhi hi then existence becomes pure existence of us becomes pure that's very important if we are not pure our consciousness thought will not be pure aahara shuddha ho sattva shuddhi hi sattva shuddha ho dhruva smriti hi our intelligence becomes sharp dhruva dhruva means intelligence smriti okay remembrance become sharp smritir lambe once smriti becomes very strong sarva granthi nam vipramoksha then we can more deeply do krishna conscious activity then we can do more deeply in krishna that's why shila propad said everyone must consume ghee ghee and milk shila propad say actually in our organization only two times food only two times prasadam okay not food <laughs> prasadam two times and night milk night milk in specifically in brahmacharya ashram and all in temples we follow that we follow that <clears throat> that is what uh, mode of goodness ahara next is passion which most of us are trying to acquire <laughs> too bitter okay sour pungent salty hot dry burning all this too much little amount is necessary because uh shadrasas according to ayurveda is necessary for us shadrasas okay shadrasas are necessary but too much it is too bitter too salty too pungent etc etc what happens we do we eat dukkha shoka amaya distress misery and disease dukkha while eating only dukkha happens we no need to hanker for getting dukkha <clears throat> khara immediately we hanker for sugar i generally i can't tolerate with the very hot spicy food immediately we hanker for some sweet that means it is in rajogan actually generally good sweet not sugar actually sugar and currently what sugar candy is available is made up of sugar only should be little because last class we discussed uh jaggery as well sugar candy kalkand but currently kalkand also not good kalkand is made from sugar now it is sugar syrup condensed and sugar candy it's easy process so it's very difficult to get sugar candy kallu sakkare very difficult isri bahut mushkil se milta we have to really procure it at least we can have jaggery jaggery but little carefully we should mix with the milk it will fat jag it will spoil that's not good okay and in ayurveda it said always it's not suitable for every body when we mix that is also there <clears throat> distress misery end product will be misery also after that we will bathroom we will not be happy if emptying is not happy whole day spoil whole day spoil then this is obvious it is the storehouse of disease okay is the place where everything happens next we will go more on to ignorance food 
no need to discuss. All of us know what is ignorance food. Tamas ahara, all of us know. This is the first thing should be avoided. Okay. Tasteless. Yatayamam gatarasam puti pariyushitam chayat. Decomposed, putrid food consisting of remnants, untouchable things. Yatayamam is not here. We have couldn't write it. Yatayamam. Three hours, three hours after cooking. Three hours after cooking, but not for prasadam. If you go to Jagannath temple in Puri, what you will get? Nairmalya prasadam. Anyone? No? Nairmalya prasadam. They will keep it in a cloth bag or some bag. It is old rice, cooked rice, dried in sun and they will give it. Whenever uh, we are not you know, able to honor prasadam, at least we can have that. Or ekash, ekadashi breaking, we can do with that. Ekadashi, we are fasting and we should break with the grain. We should eat one day. Maha Prashad. Hope you are able to understand. So it's not meant for Prashada because Prashada is transcendent. <clears throat> it is close. Prashada and Krishna, no difference. Sleep, laziness and merciless. Okay, that will happen. So what are the food? Can you please quickly tell? What are the tamas? Liquor, meat, someone else, someone else, egg, old food, old food, yes. Obviously, when we say this, it is not meant for prasad. Pizza, <laughs> burger, okay. Main food you didn't discuss, that's why. Main food, a vegetarian who consume that you didn't discuss, that's why. Onion, garlic. Tamasika Rajasika, which, okay. Tamasika and Rajasika, okay. Some are Tamasika actually. Some are Rajasika. If it is too smelly, it is actually Tamasika. Too bad smell. Bad smell is, that is what giving bad smell, decompose kind of, I hate it, that kind of feeling you'll get. That kind of for this, even though it might be some people categorize as Rajaguna, but if it is too smelly, it should be considered as Tamoguna. You will not like it. Someone, Radish, radish, cabbage. So many food you may discuss. Radish, cabbage. But so here smell here means bad smell for the breath. Bad smell for the breath. If you have cabbage, also little it will come. But however, however, cabbage is allowed. Cabbage is allowed. But it is not too much. For thyroid, cabbage is not allowed. Radish, radish also. Radish also, similar food. But however, in Jagannath Puri, see, these foods are not, not allowed. Western foods are not tomato, etc. You are aware? Hope you are aware. Okay. We'll move on. Otherwise, we'll much discuss about food. I am already hungry. <laughs> Day after tomorrow is Ekadashi. So what is the effect? Sleep, laziness, and mercilessness. Killing someone means sad part of it. Will be merciless. Next is sacrifice. Yajna, which is already discussed several times. Karma Lokoyam Karma Bandham. Okay, today we'll discuss what and all yajna we are doing in our daily life. Common man, like a common man, because this is for common man. In the mode of goodness, performed according to scripture. Okay. Matter of duty, desire, no reward. Okay. Matter of duty, desire, no reward. <clears throat> example, you can see who is the example for such kind of sacrifice. So many examples are there. Here one example is there. Prutu Maharaj example. Okay. Who did the worship to please Lord only. The purpose is to please Lord. And Indra came to steal Ashwa. Indra came. I will not go deep into the story. Indra came to do that. As well as Yudhishthira Maharaj did. Yudhishthira Maharaj did. Yajna. That is also please Lord. Vishnu. Okay. That kind of Yajna is in the mode of goodness. In fact, great devotees, actually it is more better than more mode of goodness. It is better than mode. It is in the transcendent sphere. 
<clears throat> desire no reward matter of duty that's what we discussed detachment i have this my duty to do to take care of my child is my duty not that after becoming old he will take care of me no this is passion this is passion but we are getting that knowledge only from childhood oh you have to do this so that old days someone will take care etc etc krishna will not take care we will not have that krishna will take care we will not next is passion performed for some material benefit for the sake of pride okay who did this snake yaga sarpa yaga janame jaya who is janame jaya parikshit maharaja son you know the story parikshit maharaja died because of takshaka snake bird and his son got offended and did this yajna and he in, invoked all snakes with his two three brothers so all these things happened and the purpose is this one yeah, kill demoniac actually even though he is not a demon but eventually it is not good subject matter <clears throat> in fact it is already passion means demoniac already mentioned in the first verse there worship demons this is demoniac mindset even though <clears throat> ignorance performed without regards to scriptures no distribution of prasada no chanting of vedic hymns without faith no remuneration to priest this has to be seen seriously in other way also we have to take when we do yajna when we do yajna in krishna consciousness we also do yajna higher yajna is sankirtana yajna other yajnas also we do for example all samskaras we do yajna as well as for special occasion we do yajna all yajna should have all these five one is performed without regard to scripture opposite we should take with the regard to scripture only we have to do no distribution food prasadam should be distributed and no chanting of vedic hymn chanting of chanting of vedic hymn should be done hare krishna maha mantra throughout we should keep chanting brahma samhita we should chant etc etc purusha sukta we should chant etc that's why it's very important not only chanting we should cultivate chanting bhagavad gita in a daily basis how much time it will take 15 minutes one chapter daily basis when we chant at least bhagavad gita we can start chanting daily basis whenever you have time that is how we become cultivated krishna consciousness it is not that we should minimize chanting first preference is chanting so after that we can chant other mantras which is mentioned in our shastra by guru parampara and without faith we should not do with the full faith that krishna is to please krishna only i am doing this nothing else no other material desire no remuneration to priest remuneration has to be given specifically i heard from devotees that chant everything we can in fact we can give prasadam free lecture free and in fact okay book free sometimes should not be given free but however but chanting bead is yajna we should not give free we should take donation we should accept donation chanting bead because all of us if we give chanting bead to someone which means indirectly we are telling chant means we are becoming a small guru it is considered shiksha level or just or representing our guru we can say in that way to chant hare krishna mantra we are doing it's very important so without remuneration we should not accept mahamantra <laughs> that's why when we get initiation we beg from all people give some money give and that we will give to guru because he has given that chanting bead chanting bead new name so many things he is giving new name chanting bead what else any thought ha bhakti lata bead ah, starts i think five things are there i am not able to recall okay next third one is tapasya austerity austerity has three influence one is body mano vak kaya kaya vak and manas influence okay three ways in these three ways there will be differentiation <clears throat> worship with the body austerity means worship of the supreme lord brahmanas guru superiors like parents cleanliness simplicity celibacy non violence i will not go deep into here i'll just read out 
and speech the austerity tapasya of speech is speaking words that do not agitate others anudvega karam vakyam truthful satyam pleasing beneficial regular recitation of vedic literatures okay. specifically here it's it's not so, okay body level bodily level austerity easy speech level and mind level is very different very different speech level there is one story of uh, kaushika muni kaushika muni who took the uh, oath that i will not tell lie i will not tell lie kaushika muni and uh, once what happened he was meditating and some killers okay attacking someone one person and he was running and passing through this muni's uh, yeah and he was passing and that uh, attackers came and asked muni do you see did you see someone passing then he said because he took this uh, pratigna that i will not tell lies then he said yes see how unfortunate he is and because of that he got uh, naraka naraka or sinful reaction so it's we have to be very serious uh, to tell truth also that's why shastra says that satyam bruya mitam bruya satyam bruya priyam bhuya satyam apriyam na bruya means it should please but at the same time you should not tell lies also like that so one instance came in yudhishthir maharajas he said ashwatthama hatah ashwatthama hatah not lie but not truth so not lie not truth because of that effect happened what is effect happened anyone knows <laughs> this chariot came on the chariot came now immediately immediately chariot came specifically wheel wheel went down to the earth yes it went down so very careful we should be <clears throat> it's very important chariot the car because of the lie before even telling the lie his thought is like Krishna told him to tell. Correct. So whatever doubt on Krishna, doubt on Krishna here because of that also. Yes. Okay. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Did we finish this? No. Last mind satisfaction, simplicity, gravity, self control, purity of mind, of heart. Satisfaction. Imagine if Hiranya uh, Kashyap and Prahlad, one person Prahlad, if you if you could have ignored. He could have led led life, no. Just an example. One prahlad. Everyone is following him. All whole society is following him. Here in the Kashyapi ki jai, everyone is telling. <laughs> everyone, but prahlad only. He is not satisfied. He is getting agitated. One person, one person is doing like like that. We also have this problem. Here in the Kashyapi is there inside us, actually struggling in our life. Each and every step we have that enemy. Deep. So that cultivation can come when we become Vishnu Bhakta Bhave Daivo. Viparya yaha. Opposite is Asura. One who think of becoming devotee of Krishna and taking the process of becoming devotees of Krishna, they will have this quality of satisfaction. <clears throat> they will not have. And now, now the austerity, goodness, transcendental faith, not expecting material benefit, pleasing supreme. this you understood because that is the thumb rule we did okay thumb rule that if you apply it is easy to understand then passion here one example is prachetas not only prachetas even in fact parikshita maharaj also did austerity hearing also austerity hearing from uh, uh, sukha sukha maharshi hearing so so many examples are there specifically prachetas got got the mercy of lord shiva to worship lord vishnu shiva shiva rudra geeta rudra geeta i think in the fourth canto of shrimad bhagavat and uh, passion dhruva maharaj dhruva maharaj for some gain but dhruva maharaj is pure devotee but not initially dhruva maharaj he is a pure devotee but not initially initially he had a material hankering that i want to become greater than my great grandfather <laughs> ignorance foolishness <laughs> self torture or destroy injure others who is this any thought hiranyakashipu only what he did 
what he did self torture he tortured and all ants and what is that hutta hutta okay all ants came and eat his flesh but still he continued what is the purpose destroy only destroy by getting immortality immortality is not the aim with the immortality i will spoil this is what current day situation we are we are actually destroying my mother earth we are actually destroying our mother earth we are actually destroying mother cow so this has to be kept in mind each in time we uh, think about buying something we should be very serious krishna will not like it we go and buy it in whatever we want whatever we want. whichever has animal product specifically gomata product we should abandon whichever has it might be a handbag nice handbag looks do search research before buying krishna won't like uh, specifically kids are touching fire fire won't burn devotee also will like that only devotee also like that now oh, okay krishna will forgive me i will buy like this no yes yeah so you have to do research and buy such products lipsticks then so many things etc etc <clears throat> and try to use cow product more and more please try to use cow product cow soap then danta manjan using cow etc etc danta yes 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 and gomaya dhupa like how we are using and if possible we can get direct dhupa instead of stick if possible because that stick again has a bamboo again directly from gosha very food it's good it might be a little expensive it's good but it's okay but in a higher sense when we think all these simple simple things that's what the transformation we heard in the previous class ahimsa is becoming ahimsa even he is don't want to stop press his leg on the ants he don't want to we heard no last last class prabhu explaining okay self torture destroy injure others etc is demonic quality it's foolishness and who did hiranyakashipu and many other demons <clears throat> next is charity very important actually chanakya muni says chanakya maharshi says three things we should be getting satisfied three things should not be satisfied what are the three and what are the three anyone knows three things we should be satisfied with our own wife we should be satisfied swadhar swadhar self should not hanker in fact it is opposite husband also okay shastra is like that once mentioned means it we should understand other way also okay then bhojana with our own food we should be satisfied whatever is there in our plate satisfied mujhe zyada ho i got little he got more no whatever i got yes this is what krishna's blessings for me fine satisfied and third one is money or wealth whatever wealth we fine things should not hanker for me next three things we should hanker for more and more three things swa adhyaya that is actually uh, austerity swa adhyaya swa adhyaya we should hanker i should more read and more read more etc swa adhyaya then japa chanakya maharshi says japa we should hanker to do more and more japa and dana should not be satisfied there is a word verse that word that what i give from this hand this should hand should not know in kannada it is there what i have given from this hand this hand should not know means should not think after giving kottaddu tanage bachittaddu pararige whatever i have given is actually wealth for that shila propad said <clears throat> what you give for a half normal man normal man if i give something for normal man same thing i will get in next life if i give to half brahmana brahma bandhu it is half brahmana means he born in brahmin family but he is not following okay for him we will get double we will get double and imagine we are giving to a pure brahmana and we will get thousands time in next life and if we give to vaishnava unlimited but we should not hanker for this we should have hanker for krishna prema that is what called as panchama purushartha what are the four purusharthas dharma artha kama moksha actually we are not interested we are not at all interested in it we don't want to have dharma artha kama moksha 
we want krishna prema that is our goal that is our only goal that is our only goal and for that we are all trying to gather here and study this nicely and further classes specifically 18th chapter is very important further classes because 18th chapter is so many subject matter explained in the whole 17th chapter actually this chapter is the end of bhagavad gita shri prabhupada mentions and in the 18th chapter all these small small topics summary is explained actually. so in that sense 18th chapter is very important if anyone missed in our group if you know please ask them to attend this 18th chapter so that you can get into the verse by verse discussion <clears throat> okay goodness given dutifully no expectation of return to proper place time to a worthy <clears throat> person okay dana is given by who is this quickly first picture bali maharaj okay bali maharaj given to whom trivikrama okay trivikrama then passion with the expectation of return with the desire for fruits in a grudging mood who all of us all of us <laughs> giving to iskon so that i can get something no we should give iskon for krishna prema not getting prasadam prasadam is also actually krishna prema but hankering i am talking in worldly mind atg oh thank you atg <laughs> atg recipe i also ask <laughs> so i am in a passion <laughs> supposed to be one who is pure we should not ask i am asking why to say like what about benefit that also we will get ah what benefit we get but generally i don't know that <laughs> So I am in passion. <laughs> so all such all such donation giving to schools, etc., etc., which doesn't have higher aim, which doesn't have higher aim. Higher aim means what is higher aim? Give to Krishna. Krishna is the higher aim. That is what Param Drishtva Nivartate, giving up all lower aims and we work for higher. So it is very important to give. Two Trila Prabhupad movements. One one rupee also utilized for Krishna. One one penny. Also. When he wrote, please listen. When he wrote Krishna book, very important book, the essence of Shrimad Bhagavatam tenth canto, Krishna book. He mentioned the name of one devotee. Who is that? George Harrison. He has given this much money for production. so when we when i leave this my body please hand over this ring to him ring please hand over to george harris so krishna reciprocation krishna shila prabhupada reciprocated none of the devotees will scolding also reciprocation patting oh you are good also reciprocation devotees should scold shila prabhupada scolded several times by giving the word like rasa like, a worldly mind oh he is talking was no it is very good narada muni scolded to to who is that vyasa specifically vyasa not only vyasa our uh, what is that in uh, pastime of krishna it comes two trees they become yana yeah yamula arjuna what is finally finally krishna prema they got eventually they get krishna's mercy nalla kuvera and mani griva so it is important to get beating from shtivoti don't think after coming here you will be happy sometimes it may disturb your mind but it is for good only sometimes if someone for example plate is kept like this someone will tell oh don't keep like this some devotees may say don't take offense don't take offense it's very important to get correct because in our life we didn't get correct but someone is correcting us we have to take very important that is what sadacharam means <clears throat> next is ignorance at impure place at improper time to unworthy person without proper attention and respect all of us feel very bad someone is begging near to the railway station etc very sad yes it is sad we should pray for them to get krishna prema we should give prasadam to them not money the moment we get give money they will use it for sense gratification by smoking we don't know first of all we don't know why they use okay why they use what they do we don't know so better we know the 
place. For example, we want to do Go Seva, we should find where Go Seva happening. In the name of Go Seva, if somewhere uh, cow butchering happening, gone. What Seva happening? There are many, many Goshalas are doing that. We should be a little care careful while giving donation to anyone. <clears throat> and we are getting into the end. Om Harihi Om Tat Sat. It is actually Tat Sat. Om Tat Sat is the end of this chapter. Om Tat Sat means surrender to Lord Krishna in a simple manner. Okay, Om is the name of Krishna. Tat means Krishna. Sat means originated from him only. It is Sambhanda Abhideya and Prayojana mentioned here. Have a relationship by calling Lord Krishna. Okay. Establish Sambhanda and have a process by detachment. Tat means detachment. Om Tat Sat. Sat is Prayojana, Lord himself. Okay. Sambhanda Abhideya Prayojana is there in each and every verse of Srila Prabhupada. Translation and specifically. So very important subject matter is Yat Karoshi Yadasnasi Yat Juho Shidadasi Yat Tat. Tat Kurushwa Kaunteya. For me only you do all these services. Whatever you do, please do as a service to you. Okay. That's very, very important. Whatever we do, we have to do. That is the beginning of Krishna consciousness. Beginning only. Whatever I do, I will remember Krishna. Oh, Krishna. Because of Krishna, I am doing this. Okay. Please start with that. That's what very important subject matter. So last, <clears throat> all processes happened here when Janmashtami is happening. Okay. Specifically, when in the first birthday of Lord, everything happened. Okay. Taking bathing. That is an austerity. Then mantra chanting happened. What else? Tell me. Offering happened. Fire sacrifice happened. Everything happened. That's why it's very important to follow uh, all our Vishnu Tattva uh, appearance. appearance. And our Acharya's appearance and disappearance. Very, very important. Because from that, our Bhakti becomes more deep and deep. For example, day after tomorrow is Ekadashi. I think it is a very important Ekadashi called Nirjal Ekadashi. Day after tomorrow, Two, two panchanga is there. So some of us may be different panchanga. So Prabhu will spend the message. It's easy. Always you can follow Prabhu because that is what yeah, that is what uh, uh, panchanga we follow. So that panchanga you will get the notification from Prabhu. <clears throat> even if, last verse for today, even if one distributes <clears throat> 10 million cows in charity during an eclipse of the sun, lives at the confl confluence of the Ganga and Yamuna for millions of years or gives a mountain of gold in sacrifice to the Brahmanas. <coughs> he does not earn one hundred part of the merit derived from chanting Hare Krishna. How serious it is. One verse from uh, Kevalashtakam. Last verse of Kevalashtakam. Okay, very important verse. Trini Kritya Jagat Sarvam Rajate Sakalopari Trini Kritya Jagat Sarvam Rajate Sakalopari. What does it mean? Chinananda Mayam sar, ma, Mayam Rupam. Chinananda Mayam Rupam. Hare Namai Vakeval. This Hare Krishna Mahamantra is like a Raja, King. Raja, King. Sakala Upari Rajate means he can, Upari means above, and ruling, ruling everyone. Hare Krishna Mahamantra is a king which can rule everyone. Means it is beyond all Vedas. It can even control all Vedas. Trini Kritya Jagat Sarvam. And in front of Hare Krishna Mahamantra, all Jagat, whatever is there, material manifestation, is Trina. In front of Lord, because it is his own energy. His external energy, but it is Trina. Trini Kritya Jagat Sarvam. Rajate Sakalopari. Then, then this is pure bliss, it is pure bliss. And such mantra is Hare Krishna. So let's loudly chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra so that whole world will hear and Krishna becomes pleased. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you very much for patiently hearing. I have crossed my time, I know.
but however it looked very interesting for all of us <clears throat> and if i have done some mistake please forgive me you can ignore it whatever good has happened please take it thank you very much hari krishna hari krishna